Well, I have been using this Jackery E300 with the 100 watt solar panel for about two years now. Its portability and reliability is top notch. Let me give you a few more details and show you its power output and do pass through charging of its uh, using MacBook Pro and a high power consumption Gr Greenworks battery charger. The panel has two kickstands built in and two USB outputs in the back. It's great for charging small electronics such as a battery bank or an iPhone. The 100 watt solar panel is a great fit for this specific Jackery model, which can only take in 60 watts max input. The USB devices on the other side is sharing that 100 watts total output. I'm getting 56 watts input to the Jackery power station. I'm going to switch on the AC output to charge the Greenworks 80 volts 4 amp battery pack used by my lawnmower. We can see the power output in real time at the bottom, which is increasing. The total continuous power output from the Jackery is 300 watts. Let's see if it can handle the power draw from the Greenworks lawnmower battery charger. It may exceed 300 watts soon. Both devices are getting warm in sunlight and it's the best practice to have them in the shade to really prolong the battery life and improve charging efficiency. The power consumption has already passed the 300 watts threshold and it is still going strong. It exceeded my expectation and consistently delivers more than it is rated for. If the load continues to increase, the unit will automatically shut off. However, there is no fuse to replace. Simply disconnect the load and restart the unit. In today's test, it stayed on the whole time. This is a fantastic result as not many power station of its size can really deliver this kind of output without shutting off. The total capacity of this power station is rated at 297 watt hour. Now let's move to the other side of the solar panel where it has two USB outputs to charge small electronics directly from the solar panel itself without having to use the Jackery power station. The built-in pouch is great for organizing all the cables. There are one USB Type-C rated at 5 volts 3 amps, so that's 18 watts output. And there's a USB Type-A rated at 5 volts 2.4 amps, that's 12 watts. So you can also use it as a standalone charger. I'm getting 10 watts to the anchor battery bank. And probably another 10 watts to the iPhone 11 and still charging the Jackery Explorer 300 at around 23 watts. The USB-C port rated at 60 watts is ideal for charging MacBooks or any laptops with USB-C power delivery input. I don't recommend charging laptops via its AC port as there will be more efficiency loss. So always try to use the USB-C port or USB Type-A ports whenever necessary. And I'm also going to plug in my iPhone here just as a quick demo. The total power consumption is around 371 watts. This is amazing. It is 70 watts more than its rated 300 watts output. This power station with the 100 watt solar panel kit is a wonderful solution for living off the grid, camping, or as an emergency power backup. However, due to the really high load, the battery capacity is dropping rapidly. Now I'm looking at 39%. The solar panel input around 40 to 60 watts is only offsetting about 20% of the total power consumption. The long battery capacity is larger than the power station itself. So if you are trying to power something this big, you might want to consider a Jackery 
Explorer 500 or even 1000 with larger capacity and higher solar input. I would recommend the E300 over the E240 as 300 has the additional power delivery 60 watts port and the one additional AC port. The 12 volt socket on the E240 has the same rating at 120 watts so you can plug in an additional car charger or other accessories to get additional ports, USB ports. When I'm done it's easy to pack it up and leave. <laughs>